was like I was trying to think to myself, I said, man, what? I want to do an EDC video, but I, I know I'm missing something. My backpack. Guys, I haven't did an EDC backpack update in months. So let's get into it. Let's, let's show you guys what's inside my everyday carry backpack. This is what I've been carrying as of lately, every single day. This is the Recycled Firefighter 12 hour, oops, you can't see the tag, 12 hour battalion. This thing's handmade, awesome. I think it's from Idaho, Indiana, I don't know. Um, but multi-cam, obviously I'm a big fan of the multi-cam. I love this bag. It goes pretty good with pretty much everything I wear, although I don't really wear a backpack. I'm not a schoolboy. But this thing's always in my car. It's always close by. Um, I wore it to Firefly, which is a huge, huge music festival in Delaware, which was awesome. It worked perfect for that because of its slim design. It's slim. Like when I was at the Eagles Super Bowl parade, I had this. I didn't have the 12-hour battalion yet, and that was in February. And constantly people are bumping into you and hitting the bag, and it constantly feels like somebody's opening it. This is a dedicated get-home bag now, 72-hour bag. So if I'm going farther than I need to be, like if I'm driving four hours away, then I'm going to bring that. If, and if it's an occasion where I feel like I may need a little bit extra gear, I'll bring that. That's also my hike bag. Sorry, my mic fell. So, yeah, like I was saying, that's my hike bag. And uh, let's just get into the 12 hour battalion by Recycled Firefighter. Okay, so here we go. You guys already seen my off body um, stuff, but you know, it's pretty much a, a quick, quick overlook. I, I carry a wallet. My keys, um, which, you know, by the way, the key bar, this is what it keeps doing to my keys constantly. I can't stand it. Looking for something different, any suggestions other than the key smart would be fine. Um, and, you know, obviously, I always carry a firearm. Glock 43. If you want to check out them videos, I'll leave the annotation above. But let's get into the backpack because that's why we're here. So in this front first zipper, oh, and by the way, let me just say that this thing is in the extreme most best quality that you're going to find in a uh, backpack. It's just, I've had this thing for a while now. There's no phrase on it or nothing like that. It's just been, the zippers are amazing. Um, I keep a little, just a little medical pouch on there just to let people know there is medical inside here, but it doesn't scream in your face, trauma kit, medical, um, a guy with a gun, even though, you know, honestly, I don't care. People, people want to look at my backpack and be like, he has a gun. But like I was going to say, guys, I don't really carry this thing around. It's usually just in my car. It's close by. It has the stuff I need in it if I need to. All right. So opening up this first dump pouch here, big pouch. Uh, it's the winter time, so I just keep a set of knit gloves in here, um, and these are half fingers. These are great for if you, you know, have to use your fingers a lot, which I do. Usually I double these up, and, and, when, and when it's real cold, with batting gloves, which are my favorite. You guys know that. Uh, just got some Advil in here. I got cotton ball in there, too, just to so it doesn't rattle around. Uh, a lot of times you know, drug addicts and stuff, they'll be on the hunt for that, especially where I work in a bad part of Philadelphia, Kensington. You know, they hear that noise, they're thinking, ooh, there's something in there good. So I'm gonna get rid of that noise. Put cotton balls in there. Uh, I always carry an extra hank. There's probably a few of them in here. Uh, I get my hands dirty a lot, I sweat a lot. I work hard, you know, so I have hank. This is just a map hank, simple. Uh, I've been a little bit of reading material. This is uh, my custom Bible. Um, you know, I just I just like to skim through this. I'm not really a religious person or whatever, but uh, I, I do like to read it and find inspiration through it. So um, I do keep one and I do carry it and I read it. Um, you know, I don't go to church or nothing like that, but uh, I find a lot of inspiration in here. So I read it. <clears throat> uh, another pair of heavier gloves, which are fake leather, but I like these. I use these a lot when I walk the dog. Um, they're just a good pair of work gloves. I always keep a nice pair of work gloves. I don't like mechanics gloves. Like I've said a million times, they are junk. Most guys that keep mechanics gloves in their 
uh, bags it's, and they never even use them and you can tell. You know, you know somebody who uses mechanic gloves and is an actual mechanic when there's big holes in the fingers because they just, they're, they're garbage. Not that these are any better, but it's better to have this nice, this leather. And you got to look at how they're stitched in the fingers and stuff. Mechanics, it's all glued. <clears throat> Oops, got freaking uh, Tylenol and Excedrin flying out of here. But um, this is my Recycle Firefighter notepad book with a Fisher Space Pen. My absolute go-to favorite pen. I love it. My bullet pen is lost somewhere. I don't know where the heck it is, but that's my other favorite. I do have a new pen coming. I can't wait to show you guys. We'll look up for that video. It's coming soon. And then I always keep a log and jotter. I mean, I, I swear by these log jotter books. I just love them. Nothing better than writing stuff down. You can write stuff down on your pen. You can make notes to yourself, but there's nothing like good old-fashioned pen and paper, writing it down. Because, you know, that's what's going to register in your mind better and you'll remember it and i believe that is it for that pouch so that's it there's no like in the van quest it's got pouches here and little slots for pens and all kinds of stuff you know when you you have something like that that's great but you just get too overwhelmed with all that and then next thing you know you have 30 pens in your in your backpack and pencils and and all kinds of stuff you know so i just keep these little module patches, which you'll see in a second. This is a clamshell design. All right, and it opens up just like so. So um, we'll, we'll get into this area in a second. We'll just start up top in this one zipper. And uh, keep a set of um, headphones in here. And these are, or wireless earbuds. But these are the Anchors Sound Cores. These are awesome. I've had these longer than any earbuds for the price. I mean, they're like 20 bucks or so. They're Anchor, they're a great company and they just freaking work. The, the case they came in was a little shoddy, um, so I put them in this nice hard case. Then I have a cleaner for your phone or sunglasses, just like a little mini microfiber towel. Great to have for your glasses, I mean, you know, and then a nice cotton uh, extra bandana, just garbage one, not to mention the one in my pocket. I always have one in my pocket, so. There's that. Now, uh, one thing that's not in here is my Altoid tins. They fell over there, but I always keep a Altoids or breath mints. I don't feel like getting them, but they're usually in there. And then um, my, I think my toothpaste and my, I usually always keep toothpaste and toothbrush in here, but, um, oh, it is in here still, okay. So yeah, toothbrush and toothpaste. I mean, you're at work eight hours, you eat lunch, your breath's gonna stink. I mean, carry a toothbrush and a, and a toothpaste. Get one of those, just ones you could get at CVS or whatever, the travel ones, just throw it in your backpack, no big deal. This is my personal IFAC kit, and we will get into that. So this thing, I found this on Amazon, it's just a cheap little kit, but uh, I like it a lot because it's flat, you know, and it can fit in that compartment. That's the reason why I got this. But this is my personal emergency first aid kit, and you just pull the tab, and it'll open right up, and then inside here, I have a rat's tourniquet. All right. Pretty good tourniquet, easy to use on yourself. I have videos showing you how to apply these to yourself, I think. They, sh they should be, I'll try to find the links. Um, I have uh, more medical stuff. Like usually, I have a bigger trauma kit that I always, that I carry sometimes, you know, too. And believe me, I have the, the uh, cat tourniquets and and all that stuff. But this is just a personal thing that I like to carry. Um, and it's real small and lightweight. Couple of things of gauze here. Um, this here is NRA emergency dressing. This will just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and it's good for um, sealing up a wound. And uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of gauze there. Got yourself some chest seals. This is for an accident enter, enter wound. So chest seals, so this is pretty much, basically what you're gonna use this kit for is a gunshot or a stab wound, you know? And that's my personal little kit. There, there was also, there was a Sharpie in here, but it's not in here anymore. Have to replace that. This one goes with 
this, I believe. Yeah. I always keep a Sharpie with my tourniquets um, for the timestamps. You know, some guys might want to keep a Gen 7 tourniquet in there. That's fine. Um, just make sure it's a real one. Get it from North American Rescue. I always say it, and I'll say it again. The fake, the ones on Amazon that are 20 bucks, 19 bucks, they're fake. Um, this is a trauma kit. I'll do a separate video on, but this has more, more stuff in it. But I don't need that kind of trauma gear every day. I just need some simple things while I'm at work. Maybe uh, someone gets cut real bad or... You know, you never know, God forbid, an active shooter, so I have chest seals. Um, and so that's it for these two pouches here. Uh, so as you'll see, I have these little module pouches, and then right here I have my Yeti Rambler, which fits in there perfect. So when it's loaded with coffee, I don't use this. But at the end of the day, when it's time to go home, this is where, this, where it goes. Um, so yeah, this is the Yeti Rambler. This is the 20 ounce. It keeps your coffee hella warm, but I do find this top to be leaky after a while. It does leak. Uh, here's just on the side here, stuffed in there is just a cold hat, fleece lining hat. Just a, another little warm, just because it gets cold and maybe somebody forgot theirs. I have two in here. Uh, I always keep a bigger fixed blade in my EDC bags, especially during the winter months um this is your steel wheel druid 265 i am not going to carry my william collins survival knife this is a bit cheaper and i um you know i can get it out of most pinches with this although i tore it up pretty bad it needs to be sharpened um but yeah this this is a knife that i have just for you know my edc bag uh, i'm not gonna carry this thing around this is this is a dedicated knife for my survival backpack and stuff like that i'm not going to carry this thing around every day it's just it's just too much money um and i use it for what it's intended to be used it's not an edc knife that's what i'm trying to say so this has become my edc knife this used to be the one not my edc knife but my edc bag knife this used to be the one that i held so dearly but until i learned more about knives but it's still a good knife it's a full tang um it's 18 or 9 cr18 mov steel which is you know whatever whatever steel uh it's not great it's not my favorite and um but it's a good knife i love the ergos on it and steel wheels a um reputable company I, I i believe so at least um so moving on to let's move on to this module little module patch here, uh, pouch here i keep in here this is more or less my toolkit um mini edc toolkit i guess you could call it um this is your van quest edcm huge all right so right out of the gate on the back here you're going to see some zip ties i keep zip ties all the time you know you never know when you're going to have to zip tie someone's head together or someone's mouth shut or you know worse but anyway zip ties are great for just general generally everything nothing in the front but little quick life hack here uh in this flag you can just looks like a velcro patch but actually you slit the back hide some cash in there just for an emergency it's a great hiding spot to hide your cash. Nobody will know about it unless everybody watches this video. But anyway, opening that up inside. I don't super max this thing out like everyone else usually does, but uh, it has some good, efficient stuff, and we will go through it. All right, so I guess this will be... Maybe I'll move the camera in a little closer for this for you guys. Okay, how's that better? All right, so I guess I uh, will start from over here. Um, got yourself a tied to go pen. These will prove to be very valuable. Oops, sorry. Uh, they're just, you know, you have to have a tied to go pen. My backup secondary favorite pen, you got yourself a Pilot G2. Got to have a good G2 pen. As an artist, I can really appreciate the tip on these. I love to fade with these. Worst part about doing these videos is trying to put all this stuff back. I keep a little bread tie here just for whatever. They, you know, they come in handy. Uh, inside here is my Leatherman Surge, which I usually always have on me for work and, and whatnot. It has an O-Lite in there. Um, but this is my work little tool belt thing. goes in my belt. But I have a couple lock picks in here, the good ones. 
uh, titaniums, and then your extra tool file for your Leatherman. Right here, I just keep some uh, backup razor blades for my razor tools. I have a few of them around, as you'll see. Well, you guys know, I carry the Giltec Ruck a lot, and then I also have my Sheffield here. Uh, these are bump keys for warded locks. They'll open up most locks that are warded. They got the zigzag at the bottom. They'll pretty much open those up. I'm not saying go break in and entering things, but you never know in an emergency situation, these come in handy, so. Uh, back here, I keep a um, bunch of duct tape wrapped around it. an old card, and there that goes. Got yourself uh, the best whistle I think ever made. This is a Fox 40. Oh yeah, Fox 40. Rape whistle. Great, great addition for your EDC. I mean, it's buried in there, maybe, but you know survival situation i'll probably put it up close this is something called a sill lock key uh you know you would need this um and you're trying to get fresh water water is very important if you can't have access to water you're not going to make it far and yeah i know a lot of you are probably like you know you don't see any you know sawyer water filter this you got to remember this is my edc bag you know what i'm saying guys all this the, all the only time this bag is with me like this is when I'm going to work mostly and just doing day-to-day -day stuff. So, you know, I can get home from work in a 45 or two hour walk. You know, I usually always have a water bottle on me. If I didn't, I have a sill lock key, I'll find a water bottle, I live in a city. So, you know, if I'm any farther than that, then yes, I'll carry fresh water. But, you know, as far as everyday goes, you don't see, you're not gonna see fire tenders, you're not gonna see, a bunch of survival stuff. These are tools that I actually go into this thing every day. And I, I use this thing all the time. This is a little mini crowbar. I can't t look at it. I constantly use this thing because, you know, John, John likes to cry all the time because I banged up his uh, tool. <laughs> hey, John, thanks for when are you going to send me that titanium one? <laughs> but yeah, this thing's awesome. I love this, but I, I like, you know, it's a, it's a tool it means a lot to me. I love it, but you know, I use this much more now to, to just get in things, pry things, open things, instead of using my freaking $140 paramilitary two, which I feel like is the greatest knife ever created. Uh, Cody from Wrangler star probably have to argue with me about his bench made 940, but we're actually now he's carrying a bug out, I think, which I do want. I want that knife. Somebody send me a bug out. Just kidding. So yeah, that's my EDC knife, but um, yeah, where was I? So yeah, I, I, I use this thing a lot. It's great. It's got a nail puller. It's got all kinds of little, and you can whack someone with it. Uh, so now we got ourselves, this is my backup multi-tool because you know, like I said, guys, I don't carry, I'm not carrying this. I'm not carrying this with me outside of work. I'm, I'm in my jeans. I'm dressed up. I'm going out with a girl. I'm not, I'm not strapping this thing to my belt. You know, you, you feel me? But this, this is in my car. You know, it's in the car, it's in the trunk. We're taking her car, I'm taking it out of my car, and putting it in hers. Hey, what's the bag for? It's a bag, don't worry about it. Just just hold tight here, honey. All right, so always have a multi-tool. Uh, some guys don't like multi-tools. I find tremendous uses for multi-tools all the time. Although, you know, they're not the greatest things ever, honestly. They do get you out of pinch, but don't rely on them. Have the right tools for the job, all right? I, the reason why I carry a big leather and surge like this is for work is because I always find myself out in the yard doing a truck or whatever and there's always like a headlight loose or a bumper falling off or something and, and all it needs is a little turn with, with a multi-tool. I'm not going to carry a, a, a pocket full of sockets and wrenches. So, um, but yeah, don't rely on a multi-tool, but you know, have one. Because if I don't do this now, usually there's a charger in there. I had an anchor charger uh cable right here but it, it doesn't work guys so i don't know what the deal is I, I hear everybody rave about these things you know the anchor the badass anchor cables i've had it you've guys seen it in old videos but it it doesn't work it stopped working so generally i'll just uh curl up a um 
why I wouldn't put it in there. But anyway, a crescent wrench, this is good for when you really need to get on something and the multi-tool is just not cutting it. You can have a crescent wrench, which is an adjustable wrench. These are just great to have. Uh, you know, honestly, these are just great to have. If you have the room for it, it's, no, no, it's not gonna hurt nothing. Um, so yeah, and then I just got some uh, Loctite super glue in here. Oh God, this is so valuable. You gotta have super glue. All right, now you have your Sheffield little razor knife. Obviously, I, I use it. This is what I usually lend out to people, though, when they need cutting. Hey, do you have something I could cut a box with? Yes, I do. Here you go. This is a $5 cutting tool. And I know they want to use this. I know they want to. But, you know, unfortunately, this is mine, and I'm not lending it out. I'm sorry. It is what it is. So here you can have this, which is an equally, if not better, cutting tool. Okay? It'll, it'll do more than get the job done. Uh, this is still the stock blade in there, but I have Corbin tips if I need. And this is just your Sheffield little little guy. All right, now these, uh, these sharpeners suck. You know, I'm just going to have to say it. These DMT sharpeners, they suck. I can't figure them out. I have stones. This one broke. This is from Spyderco. But uh, I, I'm bad at sharpening, but these suck. I mean, I'm starting to figure it out. These stink. Whetstones are the way to go. Or, you know, if, I know uh, everybody raves about the Apex. I just can't afford that right now. All right, so now going back in, in this little area here, I keep uh, extra batteries for my O-lights. All right, so now this is for, this is going to be for my... This is CR123, so this will go in any number one of my O-lights. This, it'll go in the S1R2, it'll go into the uh, S Baton Mini if I need it to. And then these double ones here, like this, will go in my M2T Warrior, which is in my Mini Assault Pack, okay? Which is generally what I have for when I'm doing arm security or I'm at the gym or when I'm off body carrying. Okay, not all the time do I have this. But this, well, yeah, all the time I have this, but it's not all the time I carry it. So, like, if I don't want to carry all my backpack and gear and I feel like I need extra stuff, I'll just strap this thing to me. Usually my gun's on, always on me unless I'm at the gym or something like that. Then I put it in here and carry it. So that's just my way of doing it. It really works well for me. But anyway, this, see, this little setup here with the Olight and the uh, M2T Warrior, this will... This will go in here, but it won't be as, as high lumens. It only goes up to 900 lumens with this battery setup. So I put the longer, bigger one in there, and this is just my favorite flashlight of all time. It's a badass light. They have a new one now I want. Every time they freaking keep releasing lights, damn it. <sighs> but I just got done saying how I'm trying to live the simple life, and here I want another flashlight. All right, a couple AAA batteries. What are those for? I have, um, I'm not sure, but I'll always find a use for AAA flashlight uh, batteries. Actually, yeah, I got a Streamlight that's the AAA that's dedicated to the dog harness, um, just in case, because I always let her out, and I don't feel like looking for a damn flashlight. Uh, that'll be a part of Storm's EDC when we get into that. And then also uh, my garage door opener for work uh, is also AAA batteries and they like to be changed every few uh, months. When zipping this pouch here is what you're gonna see, a boo-boo kit. All right, so this is where you're gonna have, uh, you know, your, your Neosporin, your antiseptic wipes, your Band-Aids, your, your bug skin, your burn cream and all that. One thing I did take out of here is the diarrhea pills. If you have diarrhea, do not take diarrhea pills. It is the absolute dumbest thing you can do. You're just going to have to wait it out. Diarrhea pills are no good in my experience. Maybe you had a better experience than me. Uh, but, you know, boo-boo kit. I also have some earplugs in there and uh, a pair of scissors, just cheapy ones, but you never know. Uh, after bite burned stuff um that's usually i'll use that for when a hot welding spark that comes through my mask or whatever and then here's a backup house key which i always keep on me because you know a lot of times i'll walk out of the house and i'll lock the door which actually i looks like i'm gonna need to put on my key bar since it keeps bending keys this is the this is the bender of keys there's just too much torque on it. it's a horrible design 
I love it. It's cool. They're great, but it's just for house keys. No good. So I'm going to dedicate this to the shop, shop, shop stuff, truck stuff and, and all that. So, uh, but for house keys, I'm looking for something else. So please let me know. But a lot of times I'll walk out of my house and I'll, I'll, I'll walk out of the house and I'll lock the doors. But one thing I will not ever leave the house is without my EDC bag. So I put a key in there. <laughs> so that's it for the uh, VanQuest EDCM Huge Kit 1 in gray. Wolf gray. All right, moving on to the Maxpedition kit. This is more or less like... Uh, uh, I don't know. It's kind of the same thing. I just I, I, I could probably add all this to one kit, but I, I don't know. I kind of just like having two separate ones. Um, this thing has a little bit uh, a little bit different stuff in it. Got yourself a little fidget spinner in there. Do, 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 do. Uh, got yourself a little spoon. It's back here. Alcohol prep pad. I use this for my paint mask all the time clean that paint mask up it gets nasty especially in the winter time uh oh and by the way this is the maxpedition daily essentials pouch dep and then i have i have here a lighter with uh, a bunch of tape wrapped around it duct tape and guys if you're a gentleman you got to have yourself a kent comb it's an absolute necessity this is a saw cut six or eight two t kent comb I mean, they make the bigger ones too. You have to have a Kent comb. Any man knows this. And you just got a good set of tweezers, not some cheapy plastic ones, good tweezers. This is more or less a grooming type thing, but with more stuff. Then you got chapstick, Burt's Bees, with more Gorilla Tape wrapped around it. I have a stylus here. Ugh, this stuff can really be aggravating sometimes. When you're against the uh, phone clock, a stylus, and then this is just some wound steel, which actually I used on a cut from the William Collins knife. Finally got me. Hey, if you play with knives, you're going to get cut. Just the way it is. Opening up the main part of this pouch. Um, it's It's been kind of empty. I've been kind of rearranging stuff and, and whatever, but I always keep a good field notes pad in here. These are garbage, by the way. Look at this thing. But this is just a backup notepad. It's pretty much full, but there's some empty spaces in there. I use it till it's that done. It's, this is uh, just here. Uh, and then, you know, you always got to have a condom, although this thing's on its last leg here. But then, you know, moleskin, just stuff like that. Some band-aids, knick-knack stuff. Back in here, I keep just a little cheapy light and then another backup house key and a stack of matches. Now, fixed blade knife, good to have. This is the Wolf Pup by Tops, made in the USA. Then I have a Sharpie. I have Sharpies all over the place. And then in the back here, I keep a SWAT tourniquet, which if I'm going to a concert venue or something, I'll throw this thing in my back pocket, to be honest with you. You know, I'll put my wallet in here or my identification inside this thing and some cash and I'll throw this in my back pocket. Always have a tourniquet in any kind of public event nowadays. That's just the way I think about it. Because you're not going to walk in there with your whole bag, right? I, I mean, I was at Firefly with this whole kit. They didn't, they didn't look, well, except for this. I didn't have this. I had this and this. And uh, they didn't seem to care. So that's really it for uh, those. Cruising along. So now we're gonna get to the last part. Now I have to say, this this thing I made myself, this is out of this knife cutting board because uh, they didn't have the rigid panel at Recycle Firefighter. But this is another um, EDCM Huge by VanQuest. And right here, I have my backup light that I usually will, pull out of here and throw in my pocket uh, if I'm out for the night with a girl or I'm just out in the city or out and about food shopping, whatever I'm doing and it's dark, walking a dog, whatever, I'll throw this in my pocket. Oh, walking a dog, I usually use my bigger light, but um, this is just a light that I like to carry all the time outside of work. This is my, my EDC light for for outside because I, I, I wear tighter jeans and uh, you know, you're not going to carry a bunch of crap in them pockets. So, you know, that's the light I use, but this is its home. 
and this thing locks up now this is where i'll hide my firearm if i need to lock it up in the car and i also have all my extra ammo up here let me adjust this camera okay better so i keep uh real quick before we get into ammo i just keep some batting gloves batting gloves are my absolute favorite uh, but if it does get too cold if it does get too cold i mean freezing I'm going with these. These are the uh, Fly Low gloves. These are really like only about 30 bucks on Amazon, guys. But let me tell you, these are really good gloves. These are the gloves that ski patrol wears. You're gonna go up to the mountains of skiers and, and, and uh, ski patrol and firefighters and stuff. They all wear this, this glove for the winter. My hands are already sweating in this thing. It's, these are amazing, amazing gloves. They're waxed coated, you can see how they're kind of like burnt. They got that burnt, look at them. I've only wore these once. They're great for when it's below freezing out or even when, like when it's below 20. These are what I have on me. So these are great, great gloves. Uh, Cause sometimes these are just not going to cut it. And sometimes there's work leather gloves I showed you in the beginning are also not going to cut it. And then I obviously keep my knit work hat. Okay. Uh, so in here um, is my ammo, my extra ammo. So uh, I keep I keep some backup rounds in here too, um, but I keep hollow points, Ranger SXT hollow points in here. Now the reason why I have this in a separate bag like this, um, and I have three extra magazines, a hive, a plus one hive. Uh, the stock Glock one, which sometimes I'll actually just use in the firearm. Um, one of these has heavier, yeah, this, this has the Ranger SXT 147 grain. That's a heavier load, um, and that's in a Hive plus one. But yeah, I, the reason why I keep it in there like that and it locks is in case I have to go across state lines or something. Sometimes I am required to do that from for whatever reason and uh this thing can't come with me i'll just easily slip this whole thing right out of there and leave it where it's got to be with the firearm locked up inside there okay so that's why i have that set up like that and it works very good for me all right because i can lock my gun up in there and not worry about it and still carry what i need to carry if i need to go across state if i need to uh, bring my backpack in somewhere where the gun can't go say or whatever you never know concerts different things maybe you want to carry this backpack because it's got that thin version and you know but you can't bring your firearm into a concert but you know you can load it up with some other gear and stuff but you know this this worked great and you just slip that out put it in your car lock it up and chain it in your car so that's pretty much it all right everyone Thank you for enjoying the video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. it. means the world to me that you guys have been watching the